I don't know how Terry Lynn Carrington can play drums with at that level. She's a drum, she's a master. I'm Terry Lynn Carrington. Here we are in the studio where I've cut a lot of my new CD, More to Say. This is my second home. In 1989, I made a CD called Real Life Story. Um, I was very fortunate it was nominated for a Grammy. So one day I get this email from Robert Irving III that just says, Real Life Story 2, how about that? And I thought, wait a minute, how come I didn't think of that? I had never thought about doing a follow-up to that CD, and it just got my juices flowing, and I knew that it was time. We basically got to work right away. Well, I set out to make a CD that um, would make me want to listen to it in the car. Uh, cruise jazz, how about that? <laughs> so the, the record moves in different areas. It's not uh, relegated to being one kind of, of music. We have some vocal songs and we have some instrumental songs. Um, I'm singing on two songs. One's a duet with Les McCann, and that's called Hold Me Again. I knew Les God since I was 12 years old or something like that. He used to come to a club in Boston called Paul Mall, and my father would take me to see him, and he would have me sit in with his band. I wrote a song on the CD called Papa Song from my dad, and he's actually featured on it as well. And I tried to create a vehicle that he could bring his old school, big sounding tenor sound to the project, you know, over a more modern sounding track. We got a who's who on this CD. Kirk Whalen, Every Harp, Patrice Russian, Walter Beasley, Chuck Loeb, George Duke, Christian McBride, the legendary Nancy Wilson, the legendary Les McCann, Jimmy Haslip, Greg Fillingames, Ready Freddie Washington, Anthony Wilson, Dwight Sills, uh, Ray Fuller. There's so many people, I'm not sure if I can just name them all. It's good to know people, it's good to have friends, and it's good to be able to pull some favors. <laughs> One of the highlights for the CD is to have the great Nancy Wilson singing on a song I wrote called Imagine This. And I never would have imagined that she would sing on a song on my CD. So that's a highlight of my career. And she's singing a lyric that I wrote. So that's really even more special to me. There's a lot of continuity between More to Say and Real Life Story. Uh, one thing is we covered Beatles songs on both CDs. Uh, Blackbird was on Real Life Story and that ended up being the single for that CD. And Let It Be is on More to Say and that's going to be the single for this CD. One of my favorite voices in the world is Lori Perry. And um, she graced us with uh, Let It Be for the album version. Um, of Let It Be, and we also have an instrumental version that every harp played. This is my boy Dave. What's going on, Maestro? Maestro. One, Tunt. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? I'm here with Terry Lynn right now. We're talking about the, uh, the real life track that we did for her album. It's the bonus track. It's, uh, you know, a little something different than the rest of the, the album. It's not so much on the jazz as it is influenced by jazz and taken more into a hip hop and, and even kind of electronic type field. So we, we mixed it up something nice for people who really like music, you know. It's 2009. If you're not there, you better get here quick because <laughs> well, we already are. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very kindly, ladies and gentlemen. Now we'd like to present to you a very, very dear friend of mine. I do mean a very, very dear friend of mine. This young lady is just 10 years old. We're speaking of Terry Carrington, fabulous percussionist drummer. How about a big hand for Terry? My two 
my teeth fell out when I was seven years old. I could no longer play saxophone, so I played my grandfather's old drum set, and I just never stopped. What should we look for in young uh, Terry Lynn Carrington? I think with Terry, we have to look for some technique, and I think Terry can do it all. I came to Berkeley when I was 10 years old on scholarship and went once a week until I was about 17. And then I came full time for a couple of years before moving to New York. Um, I, when I moved to New York, I played with a lot of great jazz legends like Wayne Shorter and James Moody and Lester Bowie. Um, and then I moved to Los Angeles. Uh, and shortly after I moved there, I got the Arsenio Hall TV show. And uh, from that point on, I think my career really took off. And then I started playing with Al Jarreau for about three years, and uh, after that I was with Herbie Hancock off and on for close to 10 years. And somewhere in there, um, I still did another TV show called Vibe, Quincy Jones show. really represents 20 years of growth for me from when I did Real Life Story till now. Um, I did do a couple of acoustic jazz CDs uh, in the meantime, the kind where you go in the studio, re you record for a couple of days, mix, and, and you're done with the project. But this type of CD is a, more of a complete representation of my total artistry. I'm Terry Lynn Carrington, and I have more to say. <laughs>